It's Nick Prado to lead off the game for the Royals. An off day yesterday. Belted to right field. And Nick Prado opens the game with a home run. How about that? That's called pitch recognition. He recognized it. He swung at the first pitch. He's in the game. Second pitch, it was a hanging slider, and he knew exactly what to do with it. That's his fifth home run and 20th RBI. Impressive. Second pitch of the game. Little spinner that didn't do a lot of spinning except leaving the yard. That is his second career leadoff home run. The Royals score first. Ninth home run given up by Eflin this year. Ball shortstop. Taylor Walls making the play. And he gets a chase there. Eflin picks up the strikeout. Listen, he got right back in that count with a cutter and then back to back slower curveballs. You get downward action, you get sweeping action, and he just cannot reach it. And lines this one into center. Right there is Siri to make the catch to retire the side. For the Kansas City Royals, it's going to be right hander Zach Greinke. That's off the end of the bat. Blanco makes a play in left field, one down. Well, now here comes Randy Rosarena. Every Friday night is his night. Randy Lannon left is packed, and they're already jumping up and down and spelling out his name, and all wearing the shirts, the blue shirts. And Randy is out on strikes. We're out number two. He went upstairs with the cutter. Long extended at bat. Randy saw a lot of different pitches, and then you get the cutter here at 86, up in the zone, and the swing underneath it. And the bump put down by low and a nice job on that left side. Drinky could not get there. And by the time Lopez got there, no chance. A bump single for Josh Lowe. Swing and a miss, strike three. Granky went with the cutter again. And he got Ramirez to flail and miss. Well, here we go to the home half of inning two. Sock Paredes is going to lead it off. Ground ball headed toward the middle, and that's going to go through in the center. Lead off base hit for Paredes. The Rays pick up their second hit. There's a liner into left. That's going to drop for a base hit. Paredes will round second and stop there. Waters, the center fielder, returns the ball to the infield. And Christian Bethancourt is aboard with a single. Two men on, one out. So two softly hit singles for the Rays in this inning. Siri went 0 for 3 with three strikeouts and a walk last night. 2-0. Oh, there's a shot back into deep left. It's coming our way. That's a fair ball and gone. Home run off the bat of Jose Siri. I don't know about his street shoes, but he has his hitting shoes on. And the Rays grab a 3 1 lead for 13 for Siri. I think that's what's been most surprising. You know, Jose Siri coming into the season, you're in early June, mid June, and he's got 13 bombs. So with Witt at first. Salvador Perez, veteran catcher. Salvi jolts it to center field. Siri is at the wall and it's gone. And the Royals come right back. Salvi ties it with a two out, two run home run. 15th dong of the season. What a beauty it was. 39th RBI, 38 39. But man, he reached out on that. That is a perfect swing. You could tell by the backspin, the height of the ball. But that was not coming back. His balls. That's a shot toward right center field. That's going to be in there for extra bases and bounds over the wall. A two base hit for Taylor Walls. And back to the mound. And now, oh, they have Walls hung up between second and third. And he stayed in that rundown long enough to give Bethancourt the opportunity to move into second base. And the batter is Siri, who's already hit a three run homer tonight. Jose Siri shoots one up the middle of base hit into center. Bethancourt will score, and just like that, the Rays pay it off. They grab the lead. Well, that looked like a similar pitch that he hit out the breaking ball, but look where it stays out over the plate. He's a little bit out in front, but that ball's elevated, and he's still able to barrel it. Harold Ramirez will try to do some more damage. And there's a ground ball headed up the middle and a base hit into center. Margo scores. Ramirez comes through. That ball loose on the throw back in, but no further advance. Ramirez drives in the run, and the Rays have a two run advantage. Taylor Walls. Rays have loaded the bases, two outs. Walls lines it into left. That is going to drop in front of Bronco for a base hit. 
The Rays will score two. They face hit the other way for Taylor Walls. And the Rays add to their lead. Well, right here, this ball off the end of the bat, he kind of flips it out there to left field, and Blanco plays this very conservatively. That ball hanging up there for an awful long period of time, and he just kind of backed off of it and, let, and just played the bounce. And that will bring to the plate their catcher, right-handed hitting Christian Bethencourt. That's a liner into left center field. That will drop. Cut off by Waters. The Raiders scores, and the Rays continue to add to their lead. Double figures in the hit department, and they now have an 8-3 lead. Now they just continue to pile on, and they take advantage of mistakes. Quas trying to go with that slider and get it to the outer part of the plate. That one cuts right to the middle. And Bethencourt, there was no stride there. How about that? With two strikes, he just swung the bat. I don't think I've seen him do that before. It probably has, but you really didn't notice it like that. Since that Salvi home run, five unanswered from the Rays. Three and one. Five ball center field. That's going to be a base hit. A diving attempt by Waters. He comes up short on it. And Siri has his third hit of the night. But when you're going good, you're going good. Back to the top of the lineup, and Manuel Margot. Liner into center field, and on the run. And left center, Blanco can't get there. Siri will head to the plate. It's a double for Margot. The Rays have another run. And the fans in Randy Land doubly pleased with the run and the fact that Rosarena will get another at bat. And the ground ball up the middle and a base hit into center. That's going to drive it around and Randy Rosarena comes through. The Rays pick up their 10th run of the game. <laughs> get that last opportunity here and Randy Rosarena with the big smile with the pose sands the beach hat center cut fastball. He just stays on it and shoots that ball the other way. And I'll tell you they're loving it out here in Randy land. And here's Harold Ramirez. Ground ball chopped toward the middle. That's going to go through. Rosarena is going to head to the plate. Lowe will go to third. Another run is home. Ramirez picking up his second run bat at the end of the night. And the Rays have scored 11. John Armstrong on the mound. There's a liner into center, and it's caught by Siri. And the Rays win this one. No runs, a couple hits, two left in the ninth for Kansas City. A big night, a successful night in Randyland here.